Welcome back to Check Your Leader TV. Today, we're going to have a look at a new Kickstarter from Henry Turner Miniatures uh, called Europe Asunder, The 100 Years War. Okay, now, this Kickstarter, um, I was made aware of it uh, because I backed other, uh, backed some of uh, Henry Turner's miniatures, Henry Turner miniatures, some of his other Kickstarters, um, the um, uh, Admiral series and the Europe Asunder series. Um, and so this one came up in my Kickstarter notifications. Uh, but I also, as you would know, if you've been following the channel, I did a review of Henry Turner miniatures uh, a couple of weeks back. And uh, Henry was kind enough to send me some uh, files for uh, for this upcoming Kickstarter. Now, it's actually launched. It la launched three days ago. It launched on Friday. It is now Monday, uh, the 1st of uh, May. Jeez, where's the year gone? So if the uh, mid to late medieval period is of interest to you, then I would recommend you have a, uh, a bit of a look at this Kickstarter. Now, essentially, like all Kickstarters, the pledge levels vary. You can just kick in one pound just to help get it over the line. I don't think that's really going to be necessary. Or you can jump in and uh, come in at various levels. Um, for the sum, the, uh, the, the princely sum, the sum, the prince, the princely sum of 50 uh, great British pounds sterling uh, or 50 quid, you can uh, get the core set, which is uh, includes uh, what you would expect. Mounted knights, dismounted knights, men at arms, spearmen, uh, billmen, guys with pole arms, crossbowmen, uh, archers, and um, hand gunners. And uh, there might be a few other bits and pieces. Uh, it, the, and that's what you get, uh, and you get these files. You can pay a little bit more, and you can get the blender files as well. So not only do you get the files, but you get uh, the ability to alter the files, uh, you know, change change the files somewhat so you can get more variety in the positioning and stance of the miniatures themselves. Uh, that said, um, in the samples I got, um, just for like for a spearman alone, as you'll see, I think there's like 20 variations on uh, one type of spearman in one type of garb. And then the other type of spearman, you get another 20 variants. So essentially 40 variations on just one spearman. And that's in the samples. I suspect there might be more than that. I don't know for certain, but uh, I, based on the um, other Kickstarters I've got, uh, from Henry Turner Miniatures, the variety of, of uh, poses and uh, the like that you get with Henry Turner Miniatures is just bewildering. Um, now, with all good um, Kickstarters, there's obviously going to be some stretch goals, and some of the stretch goals that are listed uh, uh, in the campaign, uh, there's things like Hobblars, uh, Burgundian pikemen, casualties, uh, rebellious peasants, um, Mounted command. There's 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 a fair few um, nice little stretch goals in there as well. Uh, even uh, uh, dead horses, because uh, as he states in the uh, the campaign, uh, unfortunately, uh, it wasn't just people who uh, were casualties. So um, the stretch goals are there. They're interesting ones. They're applicable and are appropriate. And I should also add that this Kickstarter is part one. Uh, so there's going to be a part two as well. Um, but I'm not going to go into details about that. Uh, like I said, if you check out this Kickstarter, if you look at the campaign, all the information and, uh, and data is there. There's also, like I've, uh, alluded to, there are, there are, uh, in, in the, in the, the campaign, uh, you can, uh, find links there to, uh, videos where Henry, uh, explains more about the blender files and, and, um, uh, expands upon how versatile um, these files are. So with that all said and done, let's go to, to the PC now and let's have a look at uh, what we're going to do with these files. I'll see you there. Okay, so here are some of the 
the samples I've uh, put on a, a build plate. Um, I use a uh, Anycubic uh, Mono X uh, 4K. Um, I've uh, got here some of the arches. Now I've upscaled these to um, what Henry's recommended for 10 mil, because um, I thought I might dabble with uh, doing medievals and 10 mil. Um, and as you can see, uh, pre-supported. Um, the variety of the samples I've sent, there's about, you've got like, for example, for Spearman, you've got uh, standing Spearman and Spearman braced. And in each of the, uh, like there's probably 10 or 15 different variants of, um, well, let's have a look actually. Let's not just talk about it. So this is the, the Spearman braced, um, in uh, Brigadine, um, and what's there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So there's twenty different samples, uh, sorry, different variants of um, uh, Brigadine uh, guys. You've got uh, and the ones in the Gambeson. Again, there's probably twenty or so there. Um, that's just for the pole arm infantry. Um, mounted knights. Well, there you go. That gives you some idea of the variety, and it goes on. Um, you can see that that um, you know these are these are designed as six mil, but you can see that the detail for a six mil figure. Um, uh, and uh, yeah, I mean. They're pretty, uh, pretty good. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll print these guys at 10 mil. Now what I've done, I've, um, I've as you can see, I've rescaled. Uh, I've increased uh, the X and Y by 130%, and in the Z, uh, Z axis, 145% to get these 10 mil um, type miniatures. Uh, if I was to um, Add a, just so you can see, I'll, I'll do it now. Uh, I'll add a six mil um, crossbowman. Ooh, deployed per piece. All right. Um, and uh, there's the little fella. Let's bring him forward. And so that's him in six mil. Oh, come back here. Okay, so there's my crossbowman in six mil. And then basically what I've done is, I've, like I said, 130% um, uh, in both the, um, the X and the Y. And in the uh, Z axis, I'll take it up to 140. There we go, and that's my 10 mil figure. And let's let's put a pavise in there as well. So there's a little pavise. Again, we'll upscale that sucker, um, and then I'll print these off, and um, I'll show you what they look like um, uh, printed. Okay, so here they are now. I've printed the miniatures. Uh, I've cleaned them up, done all the, the that stuff, um, and uh, I've got them out here so they're printed uh cleaned up they're not cured yet i haven't fully cured them they've cured a little bit um but uh but here they are um and i've got to tell you like i said i i went at to 10 mil and um like uh i'm pretty impressed that these are uh for six mil files uh, for a 10 mil miniature the level of detail and the quality um, is pretty uh, damn good. Um, I'll include, yeah, as you look here, you'll see some uh, color uh, photos uh, of uh, miniatures that have been printed and painted by um, other individuals that Henry knows, uh, whose painting skills 
far exceed mine uh, by the looks of them. Uh, they've done that. They've done a great job on these. But you get the idea. That they're, these these really are uh, quite nice miniatures. Um, and I think it is a Kickstarter that if you are interested in this particular period, um, you would be you, you wouldn't be far uh, you wouldn't we wouldn't be going far wrong to 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 grab these files and um, and uh, start printing your own uh, armies. Now I'm going to be using these guys um, uh, for a variety of rules. Uh, Probably uh, look at uh, uh, basing them up for never mind the bill hooks. Now, never mind the bill hooks. Um, you usually one one miniature, um, like there'll, there'll be, for example, a, a unit of spearmen. You might have uh, twelve spearmen. What I intend to do is um, the the individual bases uh, instead of having one spearman uh, on one little base and then twelve of them. I'm thinking of getting a, a little base and putting five or six, maybe seven or eight spearmen on a base, and then uh, having 12 of those bases to get that mass effect. Other than that, uh, and the other sets of rules I'm looking at the, that these guys would be really good for, uh, DBA um, and Impetus, where you get this really, you can have these you know, large bases uh, with uh, that, that mass effect that only six, 10, only the smaller scales give you. Don't get me wrong, I'm a big fan of 28 mil, but um, I do like the, the mass effect that you get with six mil and uh, 10 mil. Okay, so that, that's, that's, the, uh, that's the print miniatures. Um, and if I can do it, uh, you can do it too. Uh, for those who have uh, never, um, you don't have a 3D printer or, and they're thinking about getting in, into it, 3D printing your own miniatures. Um, the price of 3D printers has come down considerably uh, from the early days. They're actually quite uh, inexpensive. Well, by, by, by inexpensive, they're within, they're within the reach, I think, of, of most people. Um, and, and as for the, uh, you know, the skills required, my advice would be just to, to get a 3D printer and just jump straight in. Um, it, it's it's not it's not difficult to learn. Um, if you if you've managed to learn how to drive a car, I'm sure you'll be able to learn how to operate a 3D printer. Uh, if you if you know how to uh, operate a PC, you can operate a 3D printer. Okay. Now, if you are a little bit hesitant whether or not you want to jump in or not, you can get free samples. So if you go to the Kickstarter, and I'll put the link in the description below, you can download uh, samples. There's also a series of videos there talking about the Blender files and, and obviously a lot more detail about the Kickstarter itself. But uh, yeah, you could go there, download some samples and just print them off yourself and, and, and see uh, what you think of these, uh, these files and these miniatures. There's also an add-on that you can get. So if you go for with a Kickstarter uh, and you want more than just the core files, you can get an add-on uh, which includes siege equipment and artillery. Um, there's earthworks, battering rams, mantlets, great guns, great guns, cannons and the like, trebuchets, a whole bunch of um, uh, add-ons. And the add-on pack, I believe, off the top of my head, it's about 20 pounds. Um, but if, uh, if you're looking at uh, trying to simulate siege warfare, which was quite common uh, during this period, um, then those files are there for you to, to grab too. Um, so, and, and, they, and I must say, they look like really nice models. Um, and um, uh, like I can, I, I'm already thinking about these, you know, scenarios where forces sally out to uh, to try and destroy um, bombards and the like. So this is worth looking at, uh, and I would recommend that um, you check that out as well. Okay, so I'm going to wrap this video up there. Um, I've got things to do. I'm going to be back to do some painting um, and some other bits and pieces. Uh, the never-ending hobby never ends, and so I'm going to get back into that now. Um, and I would just highly recommend that uh, you check out the Kickstarter. And um, if this Kickstarter is uh, anything like the other ones uh, that Henry has launched, I 
I, I highly recommend it. So uh, until I uh, until I upload some more content, um, we'll uh, we'll leave it there. Catch you on the next one, and Yubikwe. Bye for now.